In the year 2003, amidst the tumultuous backdrop of Afghanistan, a young army doctor named Jeffrey Ling was faced with a profound dilemma. A child, no older than six or seven, arrived at his medical unit, missing a hand, due to the allure of toy-like landmines, dropped by helicopters. This incident spurred Ling to ponder a radical idea, what if he could bridge the gap between artificial limbs and the human brain, creating a seamless connection between the two? This quest marked the beginning of a journey that would eventually pave the way for the intersection of human brains and advanced technology. As the world evolved, so did Ling's vision, leading to a revolutionary exploration of brain-machine interfaces BMIs, that held the potential to enhance not only medical treatments but also military capabilities. Emergence of brain-machine interfaces The concept of connecting the brain to machines seemed like science fiction not too long ago. However, rapid advancements in artificial intelligence, AI, and neurotechnology have given rise to the possibility of deciphering and manipulating brain signals. Through the fusion of AI and massive data processing, scientists gained the ability to interpret signals within the brain, leading to the development of brain-machine interfaces. These interfaces can facilitate communication between the brain and external devices, allowing for novel applications beyond traditional prosthetics. Military Relevance the urgency of this research escalated when the military encountered new challenges. The prevalence of roadside bomb attacks in Iraq left many service members missing limbs. The potential to develop prosthetics controlled directly by the brain captured the imagination of military researchers. Beyond prosthetics, the military envisioned applications such as soldiers communicating silently on the battlefield, interfacing with drones, and even combating post-traumatic stress disorder. This led to the convergence of medical research and military strategy, creating a compelling narrative for pushing the boundaries of brain-machine interfaces. Medical and Ethical Dimensions The potential medical applications of brain-machine interfaces for treating ailments are profound. Yet, as the technology matures, concerns arise regarding its ethical implications. Researchers and neuroethicists raise questions about the long-term effects of brain stimulation, the psychological consequences of altering brain function, and the responsibility of governments in maintaining brain-connected technologies. Ensuring the well-being of service members who participate in brain-enhancing research becomes a crucial ethical challenge. Global Competition and Geopolitical Dynamics As the United States advances its research in brain-machine interfaces, geopolitical considerations come into play. Adversarial nations like China and Russia also invest in similar technologies to gain a competitive edge. The urgency to maintain national security fuels the military's drive to explore new frontiers. However, navigating the potential risks and consequences of deploying brain-enhancing technologies in the field of battle poses a complex dilemma. Conclusion Jeffrey Ling's Journey from encountering a child amputee in Afghanistan to exploring the frontiers of brain-machine interfaces, reflects the profound impact of innovation on both medicine and military strategy. The merging of AI, neurotechnology, and advanced prosthetics not only promises enhanced medical treatments, but also raises ethical and moral considerations. As the world advances, the balance between enhancing human capabilities and safeguarding the well-being of soldiers becomes a paramount concern. The relentless pursuit of innovation in brain-machine interfaces has the potential to reshape the landscape of military operations, but it also compels us to engage in thoughtful reflection on the ethical boundaries of human enhancement. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.